What's up guys, Karen here. Thank you guys so much for all of the love on yesterday's video. It honestly means the world to me. I wanted to talk a little bit today about something that's really been weighing heavy on my heart and frustrating me. And it's the fact that so many girls are coming to me with horrible and negative coaching experiences. And I think the problem is that there's too many coaches, and I use that term lightly, taking on far too many clients, or maybe just getting into this business without the right intentions or the right heart and these girls are coming to me with experiences where they feel like their coaches kind of forgot about them uh, didn't give them the time and the attention that they felt like they deserved and that they were investing in and some of them are even coming to me with implications that have affected them physically like damaged metabolisms and things like that and like I said I think coaches are taking on far too many clients where maybe they don't have the time to give to these girls or these clients that they take on and maybe they don't have the time or maybe the knowledge base to put in the work to provide these clients with the support and the guidance that they need to actually achieve their goals and as somebody who really puts my whole entire heart and soul into the work that I do with my clients. It's really frustrating to me that there are still people, coaches out there that are taking advantage of these girls. My goal is to work with these girls and show them that there is such a thing as a positive coaching experience. A coach is somebody who is supposed to be by your side, who is supposed to support you, who is supposed to guide you, who is supposed to believe in you. And it just frustrates me that there's people out there that call themselves coaches that don't actually do these things. Uh, I have lived this myself and so not only living it in the past and now hearing it as a coach myself that it's still going on, that's why it frustrates me. But inevitably it has taught me how to be a better coach myself, the kind of service that I want to provide to the girls that I work with. And it's something that I've learned and I've grown from. What's up guys? It is the final day in my apartment. So the last time you're gonna see me vlogging in this creepy little corner here. Hopefully my new apartment has like that special spot where I'll be able to talk to you guys. But I'm so excited for this next chapter in my life. I cannot wait to show you guys which apartment I chose if you watched my apartment shopping video. Many of you I think are right, but you will see. The movers just got here, um, so I will show you guys everything that I have packed up and how empty my apartment looks now. So I'm actually really proud of myself for packing everything solo. I did hire movers though because, let's be real guys, I lift weights, not boxes. <laughs> empty bathroom. Everything's going. But really, I don't have that much stuff. Like this picture in here says, I collect moments, not things. <laughs> yes, the bear, Mr. Fuzzy Gaines. Mr. Fuzzy Gaines is coming with me. What's up, what's up? <laughs> That's it though, last day guys. Big selfie mirrors coming. This is my moving outfit. <laughs> Pretty typical of my regular everyday outfits. <laughs> so excited. Oh, let's fix him. Mr. Fuzzy Gaines had too much fun last night. Coming along, guys. Almost empty. I have a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm giving the wine to my friendly movers since I'm in prep and can't drink it. So, always donating. <laughs> At least someone's gonna drink it. Bye, apartment. On to the next one. All right, guys. Here it is. Check out these big vaulted ceilings. For those of you who guessed apartment number five in Amanda's building, you were right. I'm here, my new home. <laughs> I'm so excited. I have a balcony, nice big open space in my living room, big open concept into the kitchen, which I love. I love these cute little lights up here too. This is the dining room. More little look into the living room. Bedroom. It's hard to tell from the video, but it's actually very spacious. Super excited about that. Lots of good natural light too. And oh my God, closet gains. Like what? Huge walk-in closet. 
so many activities in here. I could do activities in this closet. <laughs> love, love. And storage in the hallway. Here is my in-unit washer and dryer. This was a non-negotiable for me. I just had to have a washer and dryer. <laughs> bathroom is so massive too. Tub for my Epsom salt bubble baths that I'm obsessed with. This is my look of excitement. <laughs> oh, and you guys, okay. So, right outside the balcony, walking distance, so like literally right across the street, is a Starbucks, a Chipotle, a Sephora, a dry bar, like literally everything I need and I can walk to it. And I'm going to Starbucks right now. So, see you guys there. <laughs> Back from Starbucks, normally I would get a cold brew but they were out so I just got an iced coffee. Not my favorite, a little bit more bitter I feel um, but I'm gonna add a packet of Stevia and that's gonna be my caffeine for the day. Still waiting on the movers to get here. We have an empty apartment right now but we will be settled soon. All right, y'all, it has literally been two hours and my movers are still not here. They stopped for a lunch break, which obviously they need to eat, so I'm not mad at all, but I am starving and I made the mistake of not bringing the food with me. I left it with the movers, so I have nothing to eat and I haven't eaten in like a very long time. I'm so hungry right now, so. Number one perk of being hallway neighbors with Amanda, she just got back and I texted her and I said, do you have any food? And she's coming to the rescue. So I'm gonna walk down to her apartment and get some food. Thank you, Amanda, saving my life. I'm here. Oh. <laughs> it smells so good in here, it smells like food. $10 uh, for every 21. Sorry, I'm like dead, I left 10 mile bike ride. Neighbors, reunited, and it feels so good. <laughs> You're supposed to sing it with me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys have fun? Mama Bucci's here too. Hi. Hi. Come, come up. Those are adorable. Come on. Oh, you don't have any underwear on. I never learned. Like, well, that's on YouTube. No <laughs> way. <So funny. laughs> to the rescue. Chicken and rice. Still in the moving process, and the first box I opened, I broke something, but the movers just told me that if you break a wine glass when you move in, it's good luck. So, cheers to good luck to my new apartment. <laughs> All right guys, chefing up first meal, or first time cooking here in the apartment. I'm making just some extra lean ground turkey. Yes, I am team always extra crispy. Comment below if you are team extra crispy. I just like my proteins a little burnt. What can I say? <laughs> I want to say a quick thank you to all of you guys who have been here with me, who have encouraged me. I know that I have slacked a little bit on getting my vlogs up like I usually do, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I got so laser focused on this prep, and it was like one of those hood up, hot down low, tunnel vision. That's just how I've been these past few weeks. And then it just kind of hit me like, Karen, this is the time that you need support. And this is the time that you need encouragement the most. And so here I am guys, this is the time that I need y'all the most. And I just wanna say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to every single one of you who have been here with me, who take the time to watch, who take the time to comment, who just leave your positivity and your kind words. You have no idea. Your support goes beyond measure, beyond words for me. I just have so much gratitude for you guys. And so thank you so much for being here. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I've got another one coming up soon for you guys. So make sure that you're subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up on your way out. And thank you guys so much for being here. I love y'all so much. So, as you guys can see, I still have lots and lots and lots of settling and unpacking to do, but hoping to get most of it done today. I'm leaving for my show in just a few days, so just got tons of 
stuff going on. I've got some new clients who have entered my program. So definitely they take priority when it comes to anything. Uh, but So I've been very busy, but I'm really excited to get settled and loving my new apartment. And I can't wait to give you guys an apartment tour. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. <laughs> All right, guys. Just wrapped up my final cardio session before the show. 45 minutes. It's done. I crushed it. Babe, I'm breaking up with you for a few days. It is you, not me. <laughs> oh, that amazing feeling. Guys, I honestly just feel so great right now. Like it's kind of weird and freaking me out a little bit how amazing my energy levels have been. And just this like sense of peace and calm that I feel in my heart right now. And I've just never felt this way going into a show. When I say this way, it's because I don't really have the exact words to describe it. It's just, um, I guess, sort of like an overwhelming sense of peace. Um, also mixed with excitement, like I'm very, very excited, but I feel zero nerves and I just feel excited and calm and peaceful. And there have definitely been moments where I have felt like I have struggled, but in those times I've honestly just leaned on my faith and I've asked God to give me strength, and here I am two days out from the show, and I feel stronger than ever. Uh, the other day, it was just last week, I was having one of those days where the prep feels were just incredibly strong, and I reached out to my girl, Emily Hayden, and I told her, um, I'm sitting in the Gold's Gym parking lot right now, I'm staring at the gym, and I just kind of want to cry. And she said to me, Karen, you're better than this. Don't just finish prep, win prep. And it was in that moment, I just got the chills just saying that, and it was in that moment that I just refocused. I remembered my reason why, and I remembered that I'm not a quitter. And I am proud to say that I am not just finishing this prep, I'm absolutely demolishing this prep, I'm winning this prep. When I say winning this prep, what I mean by that is just never ending self-improvement. Finishing strong and knowing that I did everything I possibly could to crush this prep that I overcame the challenges, that I didn't let doubt creep in, and I didn't let fear slow me down. And that's what winning this prep means to me. I wholeheartedly know that I crushed it. And regardless of the outcome of this show, I am proud, I am satisfied, and I feel great. I am just ready to do it, and I'm ready to bring you guys along with me. And so this is going to be my final gym check-in with y'all before I head to Vegas tomorrow morning. And I have a great show day video planned for you guys. I have an amazing videographer out in Vegas that I'll be meeting up with that's going to document the entire day for me. And so I'm so excited to bring you guys along with me and honestly cannot thank you guys enough for your support. I've just felt so many blessings coming my way these past few weeks moving into the new apartment and just so many incredible things happening. One thing that I'm so excited to share with you guys Drum roll. If you follow me on Instagram, you already know I made the announcement two days ago. But here's a hint. I'm officially on Team Live Fit. I'm so excited. The Live Fit Apparel family have been close friends of mine for a long time. And I have supported the company and admired the brand and just what they stand for and the lifestyle that they represent for so long. And so when I was presented with this opportunity, it was an absolute no-brainer for me to say, uh, hell yes. And so I am so excited to officially be the newest member of Team Live Fit. I do have a coupon code now for you guys. It's just Karen LVFT. So please use my code, support your girl, get hooked up with some sweet Live Fit gear. Honestly, is there any better clothes in the fitness industry? I don't think so. Let's be real. <laughs> but I honestly just want to, like I said, there's just been so many blessings. Like that's been a blessing in just everything and I'm thanking God for everything and giving all the glory to him and I just want to like throw these blessings off on you guys. So here, here I'm just giving you guys blessings and praying for all of you guys too and thank you guys so much for your support, for your love. You guys are blessings in my life. Honestly, you keep me motivated and inspired through the hard times too and I can't thank you guys enough. So. Final cardio session and look you can also like check out your booty games in the mirror <laughs> Let's be real two days out. There's no booty games. I love you guys. I love y'all